Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Howard Means. I am a software engineer in uh, the support department of AccuSoft. And today we're going to look at licensing the image gear for uh, Windows 32 bit DLL uh, for IG, IG Pro. We're going to start by demonstrating how to gain a license for development, and then we're going to finish up with getting, getting a license for deployment. So, after you install the product, you go into the license manager and log in. And license manager will display all the products that you currently have installed on your system. Expand this window out a little bit so that you can get a better view. Okay. Now, when you first install the light, the install the toolkit. If you don't have a purchase license currently, you'll see licenses appear in the evaluation section. And of course, in this case, there are many purchase products that we have under this account. That are in the purchase section. To activate a license, whether you have one purchased or if you have an evaluation license, simply select the toolkit in question of choice and click the activate link on the right panel. If you cannot click this link, that means that the toolkit is already activated. Activating the license, whether it be purchased or an evaluation, will take a slot from your license pool for development. So if you have a purchase license, it'll take one of your development licenses and place it on this machine. Once a license has been placed on this machine, you cannot move it to a different machine, and you cannot remove it from this machine. It is assigned to it permanently. And now I'm going to illustrate how to get a license for deployment for the ImageGear Pro Toolkit. You first start at our customer portal. And you simply log in using your credentials, which you've obtained from the sales department for your, your account or for your contact. Of course, if you know your order number, you can select it here. If you don't have an order number or you don't know it, simply click the next button here and you'll be brought to all of your products. Starting with your account, account profile, click on orders. And the, the site lists each of the orders that your company has made. What we want is Energy Pro. And here, it shows license information for Energy Gear Professional. Now, when considering deployment, there are two types of licenses that you can get. One is a node lock license, which is also the automatic runtime reporting style of licensing. And for this, a license will be assigned to the machine which you uh, place the license on. Once a license, a node lock license is assigned to a machine, it cannot be removed and it also cannot be moved to a different computer. It's on that machine permanently. The second type of license you can obtain is an OEM license which does not require a node lock or any type of noding connecting to the machine at all. This particular license will be obtained through sales and you simply will be re receiving an OEM key, which you will plug into a third function um, for un unlocking the control. So here, a license is displaying for the Image Gear Pro Toolkit and is currently showing with a solution name 
and the solution key. The next portion of this license involves obtaining the actual license key from your license pool on the AccuSoft server. So let's take a look at the pools now. Here, once we get to your license pools, it will show each deployment, each product that you have. And what we want is Industry Pro. So we're going to paint it here. Click on Windows DLL. We'll generate a config file. And this will return a text file, which we're going to use during our deployment. So let's save this to a location on the hard drive. I already placed the file there, but I'm just demonstrating this. Okay. So now we have that license file, the config file sitting on the machine. And now let's talk about licensing the control for deployment. To do this, essentially all you need to do is place the licensing functions in your source code to trigger the licensing for the component and also have a license key placed onto the client machine in question. Before all of that, however, you'll want to make sure that you're deploying all of the proper component DLLs and the binaries for image gear. To do that, you run the deployment packaging wizard. So let's start. Going into the licensing folder, the deployment packaging wizard is here. Now this wizard will allow you to select the path where all the files should be copied which you will then in turn take onto the client machine. Once you run this, you select each of the components that you wish to use in your project and simply include them onto the right side of the, of the dialog here. And of course, when you're done, this will sort out and place those DLLs and binaries into the folder that you designated. At that point, you package these components up with your application and just copy them to the runtime computer. I won't illustrate all of this here, but I'll just jump right on into performing the licensing and running the server license utility. So pretend that this is a client machine. We will run sou.exe, and it begins by displaying this dialog here. And the first thing it's looking for is a configuration file that you downloaded from your customer portal site. We want, the, we want the configuration file that corresponds to the ID Pro DLL. And now, it's a simple matter of clicking Auto Register. This will have the system automatically connect to our licensing server and download a license and place it onto the computer. If that ever failed, however, you can easily choose to manually register which will take you through a series of steps to obtain the license file on this machine or a different machine that has internet access and then have it placed on this computer. Let's try auto register. Now pay very close attention to the message that you see once this finishes. Right here we're seeing that the license was downloaded successfully. However, there have been cases or you may see cases where the SOU will fail to obtain a license from the AccuSoft server. If this happens, it's usually because of some internet connection or the system doesn't have internet access, things along those lines. If ever this case comes up, the SOU will place a temporary license onto the machine so that you'll be able to have it up and running. And this usually is for about 14 days. You have a two week period to straighten out whatever issue you have with your network or configuration. Or you can perform a manual license to get a real license placed on that system. But pay very close attention to the dialog that you see here. Once this license is placed on the machine, we now need to make sure that the licensing calls are being triggered in the source code of your project. So let's go there. So here we have the licensing calls being made 
in the source code, as you can see, set solution, the solution name is being specified in the solution name set function, and the solution key is being specified as well. There is a third function with, that requires an OEM license, but this is only if you have purchased an OEM license from our sales department. So make sure you know which licensing method that you're using. So with these two functions set in your source code, let's go ahead and run the project. And as you can see, the application runs without displaying a NAG dialog or a licensing error. And we can load a sample image to see it display. And that's licensing for Image Gear, the professional DLL. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.